Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Today we're diving into the world of hacking with nine powerful apps every hacker must know. We're talking about the tools that can crack passwords, sniff out network vulnerabilities, and basically turn your phone or laptop into a digital Swiss army knife. Now, before we jump in, just a quick disclaimer, hacking can be a legally gray area. These tools are incredibly powerful and it's important to use them ethically and responsibly. We're talking about understanding how systems work, identifying weaknesses, and ultimately making the digital world a safer place. So if you're ready to explore the fascinating world of ethical hacking and learn about the tools the pros use, then buckle up, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. First up, we have Metasploit, and let me tell you, this is the real deal. This isn't some toy app. This is a professional-grade penetration testing framework. Think of it like a giant library of exploits, payloads, and tools, all ready to help you simulate real-world attacks. Metasploit lets you safely probe your own systems and networks for vulnerabilities, just like the good guys and sometimes the not-so-good guys do. You can test everything from web applications to network devices, all within a controlled environment. Now, the interface might seem a bit intimidating at first, especially if you're new to the command line. But trust me, there are tons of resources out there, tutorials, and even a really active community that can help you get up to speed. The beauty of Metasploit is its flexibility. You can use it for simple vulnerability scans or dive deep into crafting custom exploits. It's like having a whole security lab at your fingertips. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility, right? Always use Metasploit ethically and legally. Make sure you have permission before testing any systems that aren't your own. Next up is NMAP, which stands for Network Mapper, and it's basically the Google Maps of your network. This tool lets you discover devices, services, and even operating systems running on a network. Think about it. Before you can even think about exploiting a system, you need to know what's out there, right? That's where NMAP comes in. It's like sending out a scout party to map the terrain before you launch your main attack. Nmap uses a technique called port scanning to see which ports are open on a target system and what services are listening on those ports. It's like knocking on doors to see who's home and what they're up to. But Nmap doesn't stop there. It can also fingerprint operating systems, identify firewalls, and even grab banners from running services. It's like having X-ray vision for your network. The best part is that Nmap is incredibly fast and efficient. It can scan thousands of ports in seconds, giving you a comprehensive view of your target network. Now, just like with any powerful tool, it's important to use Nmap responsibly and ethically. Let's talk about Wireshark, the ultimate network traffic analyzer. Imagine being able to eavesdrop on the conversations happening between your computer and the internet. That's what Wireshark lets you do, and it's both fascinating and a little bit creepy. Wireshark captures packets of data as they travel across your network and displays them in a way that's actually understandable. You can see the source and destination of each packet, the protocols being used, and even the actual data being transmitted. This makes Wireshark incredibly useful for troubleshooting network problems, analyzing application behavior, and even identifying security threats. It's like having a microscope for your network traffic. For example, let's say your website is loading slowly. You can use Wireshark to capture the traffic between your browser and the web server, and pinpoint exactly where the bottleneck is. Or let's say you suspect your computer might be infected with malware. Wireshark can help you identify any suspicious network connections or data transmissions. Now, obviously, there are privacy implications to consider when using a tool like Wireshark. It's important to only capture traffic on networks you own or have permission to monitor. Passwords, the bane of our digital existence. We all have too many and sometimes we forget the important ones. Enter John the Ripper, a powerful password cracking program. It's like having a digital locksmith on call. John the Ripper uses various techniques to guess or recover passwords. It's intended for ethical hacking and security testing. Use it to identify weak passwords and strengthen your defenses. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. We're about to get into some seriously powerful territory here with air cracking. This suite of tools is designed for testing the security of Wi-Fi networks, and let me tell you, it can do some serious damage in the wrong hands. Air cracking can capture Wi-Fi traffic, crack passwords, and even inject traffic into a network. 
It's like having the keys to the kingdom, but with the potential to bring the whole castle down. Now, I can't stress this enough. Using air cracking on networks you don't own or have permission to test is illegal and unethical. This tool is meant for security professionals and ethical hackers who are authorized to test the security of their own networks. But even if you're using air crack ang for legitimate purposes, it's important to be aware of the risks. Cracking Wi-Fi passwords can expose sensitive information, and injecting traffic into a network can disrupt service or even damage equipment. So, if you're going to use air cracking, do so with extreme caution and always make sure you're operating within the bounds of the law and ethical hacking principles. Let's talk about Hydra, a powerful network login cracker. It uses brute force to guess usernames and passwords. Think of it as a digital battering ram, but remember, using it illegally can get you in trouble. Always use Hydra ethically for security testing. It helps identify weak passwords and test authentication. Configure it properly for best results, and always respect privacy and security. Burp Suite. This is one of my personal favorites, and for good reason. It's like having a Swiss Army knife for web application security testing. If you're serious about finding and exploiting vulnerabilities in web apps, Burp Suite is your new best friend. Now, Burp Suite isn't just one tool. It's a whole suite of tools designed to intercept, inspect, and modify web traffic. It's like having X-ray vision into the inner workings of websites and web applications. I remember the first time I used Burp Suite to intercept a login request, modify the parameters, and bypass authentication altogether. It was a real aha moment that showed me just how vulnerable web applications can be. But Burp Suite isn't just about finding vulnerabilities, it's also about understanding how they work and how to fix them. The suite includes tools for automated scanning, manual testing, and even generating reports. Whether you're a seasoned penetration tester or just starting out in web app security, Burp Suite is an essential tool to have in your arsenal. Let's talk about Nikto, a web server scanner that's been a staple in the security community for years. It's like having a bloodhound sniffing out vulnerabilities in your web server. Nikto works by sending a series of requests to a web server and analyzing the responses. It can identify outdated software, misconfigurations, and even known vulnerabilities. One of the things I like about Nikto is its versatility. It can scan web servers running on a variety of operating systems, including Windows, Linux, and even embedded devices. Nikto is also incredibly fast and efficient. It can scan thousands of web server vulnerabilities in minutes, giving you a comprehensive overview of your web server's security posture. But here's the thing, Nikto is a noisy scanner. It can generate a lot of traffic and potentially disrupt your web server. So, it's important to use Nikto responsibly and only on systems you own or have permission to test. Last but not least, we have SQL Map, a tool that's specifically designed to find and exploit SQL injection vulnerabilities. If you're dealing with databases and web applications, SQL Map is an absolute must have. SQL injection is a type of attack where malicious code is injected into database queries, potentially allowing an attacker to read, modify, or even delete data. It's a serious threat, and SQL Map is here to help you find and fix those vulnerabilities. SQL Map works by automating the process of detecting and exploiting SQL injection vulnerabilities. It can test different types of databases, identify vulnerable parameters, and even retrieve data from the database. One of the things I appreciate about SQL Map is its thoroughness. It doesn't just check for the most common SQL injection vulnerabilities, it also tests for more obscure and advanced techniques. But as with any powerful tool, it's important to use SQL Map responsibly and ethically. Only test systems you own or have permission to test and always respect the privacy and security of data. So there you have it, nine powerful hacking apps that every aspiring hacker or cybersecurity enthusiast should know. These tools can be incredibly powerful and insightful, but remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Always use these tools ethically and legally. Only hack systems that you own or have explicit permission to test. The goal is to learn, improve security, and make the digital world a safer place. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech insights. Stay safe and happy hacking.